Kat the VC and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are testing out a full face of Glossier and Milk makeup. If you want to know how we got this look and what I think of these minimalistic brands, then just keep watching. Okay, so it has been a hot minute since I've done a tutorial and I know, I know. <laughs> I'm the worst but honestly with everything that's been going on in my life recovering from surgery just took a lot more out of me I've been just really exhausted like all the time and just really had to take some time for my health because you know that's the most important thing I'm feeling a lot better but yeah anyway what you came here for I have definitely been a hater not gonna lie I for the longest time when Glossier and Milk Makeup came out, I just, it, it, there was nothing about it that really made me want to try it. And I feel like a lot of those brands that are so hyped up that everyone's like, oh my God, Milk's so great, Glossier is so amazing. It was like one of those Instagram brands that was just all over my newsfeed. And I definitely feel like sometimes when everyone is obsessed with a product, I automatically, I'm like, mm, yeah, I am not trying that because I don't know if it's just that I don't wanna be like on the bandwagon, like I wanna be unique, like I'm cool, I do my own thing, or if it's just that I assume it really can't be that great that everyone's making it out to be. But like these brands have been out for like a hot minute, like at least a year or two, and I'm finally like, okay, I'll try it. To me, they're honestly like the same kind of brand. I know that they're not, I understand. Okay, thank you. But I'm just gonna use both brands on my face today. Let's put it on our face. So this is the Milk Makeup Cooling Water. This is so cute. I have it in the mini size. I prefer these little tub jubs. Is that? <laughs> I don't know what they're called. But I just prefer these in the mini size because they're so big otherwise that you can't. I just feel like it's it's just chunky. It's big. It's bulky. I don't want to have to like carry that around in a bag. So what this does, it is good for like refreshing your face, cooling it down, depuffing. So. Put that under my eyes, just buff that in a little bit. I don't think I would pay $14 for this just because I feel like there are other cooling products that work better than this. I don't feel like it really depuffed my eyes at all. So in my opinion, that one's a pass. So let's move on to the primer that I have for today's look. We're gonna be using the Milk Makeup Blur Stick. It does say that it is a silicone and oil-free blur stick. So that's nice. It's supposed to give you a matte look which usually when I'm traveling I feel like I get so sweaty because I'm just like stressed out and usually I'm running around the airport late for a flight because that's my life and I really need something that is gonna keep my skin on the matte side of things so far I feel like wherever I am putting the stick it is taking away the oil that's on my face I feel like that did an okay job of like blurring out you know any fine lines or pores that I had I don't think it's as good good as benefits primer but you know not awful I mean this I definitely think is more worth it than the cooling water stick but so far I'm not like blown away okay so next we're gonna go in with foundation so I picked up the milk makeup matte foundation so, oh, okay it says shake up shake it up mama this is in the shade medium tan I don't really know how much I should be putting on I'm just gonna put it here because I really feel like for these brands like less is more so it's actually a really good match I feel like to my skin tone I'm using my NYX foundation brush it does seem to like dry down pretty fast so you do have to work with it quickly but I feel like for being a minimal makeup brand that coverage is pretty good because I definitely had some spots up here that it's covering up really well I feel like I actually didn't even need all of that that I put on I could have gotten away with a lot less I actually think I might like this I wasn't expecting that hmm Next, we're gonna go in with the Milk Makeup Flex Concealer, and you're probably like, girl, I thought you said this was Milk and Glossier. Don't worry, Glossier stuff is coming. Let's try this Flex Concealer. This is in the shade Medium. We grab this sponge. I think this is one actually from Sephora. I'll make sure to link it in the description box, but I think it's a really awesome sponge if you don't wanna splurge on a actual beauty blender. This one's really nice. I feel like this concealer is nice, but I don't feel like it's giving me like insane coverage. 
which I mean I guess is to be expected this is like a minimalistic brand but also like okay I don't sleep your girls got bags we need to cover them milk okay so work with me all right so I picked up the milk makeup matte bronzer and this is in the shade blaze so oh it seems really like sticky like I feel like I'm putting a glue stick on my face and also oh my god it even smells like a glue stick okay we're not loving that I mean the color I think is good for my skin tone so I'm gonna use this as my Lorac contour brush I just feel like it's so it doesn't it's not easy to work with like I feel like it keeps getting stuck and it is like that sticky glue consistency that it's just very tacky like I feel like I'm getting stuck to my face when I touch it like I'm thinking in contrast to the Fenty Beauty contour stick that to me is so much easier to work with this just is a hassle and I feel like for being minimalistic and like on the go quick easy routine that just isn't it so we're gonna be returning this one I am noticing that I haven't set the makeup yet and I'm already getting like creases around my laugh line and usually that takes a hot minute for that to happen with my foundation so that is a little worrying so finally I'm bringing in a Glossier product I have two of the cloud paint shades here we've got dusk and haze dusk is kind of like this peachy coral and haze is this kind of um, fuchsia color I'm gonna see what this dusk shade looks like on me I don't know if it's gonna be too light I'm just gonna put some on my hand here and you know what y'all I think I'm gonna use my fingies I'm just gonna dab into that and oh wow okay that's like really pigmented and that's really pretty color too I really like that actually it's like the perfect amount of like just like a pop you know not like most blushes are like pop this is like pop it's like a really soft, warm coral nude. Oh, you know what I totally forgot to do? Use some powder. Maybe that's why everything is creasing, you know? Guys, it's been a hot minute since I've done a tutorial, so forgive me. So for setting the face, I'm gonna be using Milk Makeup's new Blur and Set Matte Loose Setting Powder. This is interesting, so they give you this little pad. I'm just placing this little sponge in here. This is actually kind of convenient, and it's working pretty well to set my under eye. I do feel like it's a little hard for the product to come out of here. So, so far, I'm really digging this. So I have Glossier Lid Star. This product is so cute and this is in the shade Cub. I've actually never used this before. So let's just have at her, see what happens. Oh, this is pretty. Okay, I'm gonna use my fingers and just kind of dab that in. I do feel like when I used my fingers that did kind of take a lot of the product away. So let's try again. I'm gonna put just like a bit more on. Okay, maybe I was just going in like a little heavy with my pat pat. I just pat a little lighter. And I mean, it is supposed to be like a minimal look. It's not supposed to be like pow pow. I would love it if it was just like, like it's here and I just like need it to be here. Like I don't need you to be all the way up here. But like here, I feel like that's not, that's not asking much, you know? I do really like it though. And like usually a lot of these um, liquid eyeshadows, I feel like can be really sticky. And this doesn't feel like that. So that is really nice. So I'm gonna go in with the Milk Makeup Kush Fiber Brow Gel. So I have heard really good things though about this product. So let's see. I do like how like easy it is, you know, to just be able to have like one step where it's like, I don't need to draw in my brows and then set it with a gel. It's like you just get it all done in one step with this. I do feel like it's messier though. Like I feel like my brow looks like chunks are coming off of it and like getting onto my brow, which like maybe I just went too hardcore. I don't know, let's see. I'm gonna go in and just use my Anastasia to just kind of like clean that up so it's not so intense. I just feel like that, oh, I don't love that at all. That looks like crazy brows, like crazy town. I don't know, like which I guess some people are like into that look. I'm just not one of those people. <laughs> the lady at Sephora told me this is really good. So I just feel like she was lying to me and I just feel, I'm kind of hurt. I'm not gonna lie. Like I thought I could trust her and apparently I can't, can't trust anyone. I was like kind of liking this look maybe, but I feel like that just, 
put the nail in the coffin. Highlighter. I'm gonna be using the Milk Makeup. This is just their highlighting stick. Usually I don't like highlighting sticks. I'm more of a highlighting powder kind of gal. Let's just blend this in. Like, it's okay. It's just, I don't know. I don't like the stickiness. I don't like feeling sticky. I mean, it's a nice highlight. Like, I can see it's reflective. It's working. It's doing its job. But I feel like it's just... I don't know, maybe it's just the color, but not my fave. Next, I have the Glossier Lash Slick. This is their mascara, super cute packaging. I do like, honestly, love Glossier's packaging. It's so adorable. So just gonna put that on, see what we think of this. Like, that's nice. It's not like wowing me. It's not like anything I would like run outside and like go tell my neighbors, like, you need to go get this. But also, it's a lot better than I thought it would be. I'm very picky with mascaras and I feel like this is nice all right so last but not least i have tried this product before this is glossier generation lipstick i think that's what it's called this is in the shade leo and i'm obsessed with it it's just such a pretty brownie it's kind of like a brick brown nude if that makes sense i love this shade on my lips I do really love this color, but I'm not essentially vibing with this color and my lid. Just to add a little flavor, I have the Milk Makeup Holographic Lip Gloss, so I'm just going to add a little bit of that. It's a nice formula, so there's that. Okay, I think that's actually really pretty combo together. I've never done that before, and I actually really love that. All right, guys, this is the finished look. You know what? For being a minimalistic look, it's not bad. I don't think it's awful, but overall, if I had to pick a brand that I liked better, I think it would be Glossier. Out of all the products I tried, more often than not, I liked the Glossier products, and the milk products were questionable. I mean, there definitely were a few milk products that I did like, but that was slim. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!